Oh, hello everyone. You might be wondering, what in the world is he going to talk about today? Well, today I want to talk about what I believe might very well be the most lonely moment in your life. And that is going to the doctor's office. How many of you like going to the doctor's office? I don't. But you walk in that doctor's office, and you walk up to the counter, and there's usually this glass. And most of the time, there's a lady sitting behind the glass. And you step up to the counter... You look through the glass, and she's looking down at her computer, just clicking away. And you stand there for an awkward moment, an awkward minute, maybe an awkward two minutes. And then finally, she kind of looks up, and she slides the glass open and says, Can I see your insurance card and ID? And you're like, well, good morning to you, too. How are you doing today? Mm -mm, none of that. She just wants that insurance card and that, that ID, and you give it to her. and She gives you the paperwork to fill out, and you fill out that paperwork. And then... It even gets worse because you go sit down in the waiting room where there's like maybe five or six people scattered around the waiting room. Nobody's talking. Nobody's having a conversation there. You sit down beside somebody and you look over at them and they're looking down at the magazine. And finally you're like, okay, I can't, I've had enough of this. You look over at them and you say, how are you doing today? I'm sick. What do you think I'm doing here today? Like, oh, so, so, oh, I'm sorry. And then you just grab your magazine and you start looking down. But then a few minutes later, the door pops open and you just have this great hope that it's your turn. And the lady walks out and says, Eaton? Nobody moves. And then she looks at you and you're like, Eaton? And I'm like, no, not yet, but I'm pretty hungry. And she just gives you an annoyed look. And then somebody finally gets up and goes back there. But then four or five minutes later, she comes out again. And finally, they call you back there. And then it gets worse because they put you in this little square box of a room and they shut the door. And then there's the deafening silence. So you're just reading all the stuff on the wall about heart disease and diabetes and cancer. And you've read the wall. You've seen all the skeletons. You've seen the, the little bitty plastic heart sitting on the, the desk. And then finally, 10, 15 minutes later, comes the knock on the door. I don't know why they knock. Maybe they thought you are going to use the bathroom in the floor and you needed enough time to get your pants up before the doctor walked in. I don't know. Then the doctor walks in and he sits down in front of that computer. And then there's that awkward moment again. And finally he's like, How can I help you today? Well, I got this pain. Well, tell me about it. When did it happen? Well, I, I, it was... It was um, okay, today's Wednesday. Uh, last week um uh, before i can finish and figure it out he's like like well here's a prescription take this and come back and see me two weeks and it's over man that's lonely that's a lonely moment